Thank you. And welcome back. We start the second half of this program in the same way as we started the first, with a gold run. A bigger prize this time, and our champion Tim is all set to go for it. Not too much of a success with the last gold run, possibly because of those pop questions. Tim, yes, yeah? I'm afraid there were. I thought there were quite a few. Yes, there were quite a few, and there may well be in this one. You just can't tell. Let's have a look at the board and see if we can work out whether there are going to be any pop titles. Well, you can't really, but it's an interesting looking board, and what Tim has got to do, of course, is to make that connection right the way across. He can do it quickly like that, and he can do it in a more complicated way like that. In fact, he earns himself more money if he doesn't actually make the connection, if it's more complicated. But the point is, of course, he's got to do it in that 60 seconds. So, let's confront him with the run, shall we? Tim, would you be kind enough to put yourself on the hot spot, please? Just to repeat, you must make the connection in 60 seconds or less, from left to right across the board. If you don't make the connection, you get £10 for each correct answer. And the timing is taken from the moment you tell me which initial letters on the left you want to start with. It's all yours. A H. A Greek hero's tendon that should always be protected. Achilles heel. Correct. T O. Fabricator of the Popish plot in 1678 and Scott's very gallant gentleman. Pass. S B. Tomat tomatoes and pasta named after a city. Spaghetti bolognese. Right. B R. An Irish group with Bob Geldof as the lead singer. Boomtown rap. Correct. Z O. Reagan's nomination for disarmament. Pass. NSO. Source of a significant part of Britain's revenue and of energy. North Sea Oil. Correct. TR. Wrote the words for Evita. <laughs> ah, pass. TAO. Species of allium stewed with cow's stomach popular in the north of England. I swear you'll know when I tell you. Tim, not to worry, you got yourself £40, but I've got to tell you the ones you missed out on. I'll tell you in reverse, the ones at the end that gave you so much trouble. The species of allium stewed with cow's stomach, popular in the north of England, tripe and onions, of course. Tim uh, Rice. Tim Rice, yes, he wrote the words for Evita. Reagan's nomination for disarmament. Zero you option. Zero. <laughs> Zero option. Yes, uh, and uh, which others did you go out on? I think that they were the ones. Yes, we've got the Evita one, so you've won yourself £40. If you can return to your seat, we'll carry on with Blockbusters. <laughs> that really is a terrible moment, you know, when you go across that board and you get nearer and nearer the end and your mind just blanks out. I gather that's, that's the answer, isn't it, really? It did that. I'm surprised you knew Bob Geldof. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, you know, you're not a pop person, but anyway, you're still in the game. You didn't get that one, but you still get the opportunity, as indeed he does, to get the fifth gold run, and that's the biggest of all. That's if he stays in. Two people now who are going to try and make sure that he doesn't, like the last two. It's Nick and Heather, and we're going to meet them right now. Here they are. Nick and Heather, where do you actually come from, both of you? Peter Simmons College in Winchester. In Winchester. Yeah. You've toiled here to be with us. We're very glad to have you with us. We've got to find out a little about your interests before we go into the game, even though Tim's getting very impatient on your right there. I can see him wriggling about. So, Nick, you first of all, what are your interests? Oh, um, reading, writing, lounging Rhythmatic. about. Oh, I see. Lounging about. Yeah. Very good interest, lounging. Would you lounge about here? Um, sometimes, but not a lot. What do you do more than that? Um, I play the drums and the xylophone. You play the drums and a xylophone, yeah? Yes, not at the same time. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> a pop group or in a classical orchestra or what? Um, in a band. In a, a band? Not a, just a sort of brass band. Well, good for you. How long have you been doing that? About uh, five, six years. Now. Well, we may get you a new drum kit on this programme. Stick with us. Play your cards right. We'll see how we go. All right, then, let's uh, uh, have a look at the uh, board. You all know how the game works, but just in case there's somebody who's joined us who doesn't, uh, the two of them have got to make that connection across, blue to blue, very quickly, like that. And while they're doing that, Tim, as he knows all too well, has got to make the connection top to bottom, white to white. He, to level things up, can do it in four if he tries. They can only do it with a minimum of five. We saw a letter blinking away, and that letter was C. That takes us into the first game of a new set of three in Blockbusters. <laughs> So 
So, Nick, Heather and Tim, stand by because here we go. What C won the triple jump at the Commonwealth Games in Brisbane? Yes, Tim? Keith Connor. Keith Connor is right. A good start. <laughs> and again. T, please. T, first time. T. What T is a word for a bullfighter in... Yes, Tim. Toreador. Toreador, yes, absolutely right. <laughs> Give him a little bit of a chance, won't you? What are you going for next? J, please. J. Perhaps I shouldn't say things like that. Yeah. What J comes before the gun, to it, and the cue? Yes, Tim. Jump. Jump. Jump the gun, jump to it, and jump the cue. Yes, right. Now, you two have got to be pretty quick here because you've got to block him out on this one because I've got a feeling that I know which one he's going for. Which one is it? D. Yes, you see, I just am hypnotic. It's just one of those things. D it is, and it will make that connection if you get it, or you could block him. What D is a posh word for dried and is often applied... Yes, Nick. Dehydrated. No, Nick. I'm afraid not. Huh? It does apply, but not if I read the whole question, which is, to Tim... What D is a posh word for dried and is often applied to coconut? Desiccated. Desiccated is right. Yes, that's the connection. Uh, agonising is one of those double-edged questions which, if you interrupt, you take a chance on getting it right, but you also take a chance on getting it wrong. I'm very sorry about that. We go into the second game of a set of three now, very quickly, and perhaps they can make their mark in this one. It's Nick and Heather. Up against Tim here, who's in fine fettle at the moment. But let's see what the next letter is. It is indeed A, and that's the one that starts us off. Stand or sit very close to your buttons, Nick and Heather, because here we go. What A is a large terrier with a coat like a doormat that comes from West Yorkshire? None of them. An Airedale? An Airedale? Airedale lovers will be distraught that you didn't know. What A is grown for its nuts, its oil and its blossoms? <laughs> Almond. I'm enjoying this. Almond. What A is Britain's only poisonous snake? Yes, Tim. Adder. Yes, Nick knew. I could see by his lips. Adder is right. Your choice, Tim. V, please. V. V at the top there. Okay. What V is a document needed for travel through certain countries? Nick. Visa. Correct. Well done. <laughs> They're at, they're at it again, Tim. It's not that they're against mind. you. <laughs> okay, Nick, which, which is the next question? L, please. L. Okay. L right at the top, right. Here we go. If I can find it. Yes, here we are. What L is a baby hair? Yes? Leverage. Leverage is right. Good one. There we are, right at the top. And your choice. H, please. We'll go for H. Here we are. What H surrounds the sun in certain con... Yes, Tim. Halo. It is a halo. You got in there within the time. Halo it is, and that's uh, one step nearer your connection. A very quick one now. N, please. N. Here we go. What N is a town in the south of France or a type of sweet biscuit? Yes? Nice. Nice it is, Nick. Well done. Yay! Well blocked. What an exciting moment of the game, and one we're going to leave you at, because that's about it for today. Will they beat him or won't they? Stay with us to find out. We'll see you soon.